To start a new project, you might have something on your screen. You want to go File, New, and it says Reload Startup File. Accept that. You're back to your customized work view. Right, so I want to take you through a simple project that is about working with vertices. These are the little spots or dots um, that make up a mesh. So I'm not going to need this window, so that was T. I press T and it's been got rid of. I'm going to add a plane. So I, at the top go to add mesh plane. I can then view top. Now so far we've only been working in object mode. An object mode is the mode where you might place objects in your modeling world. You then have editing mode. And if we zoom in a bit, you'll see the character changes between object mode where it just defines the object to edit mode, where in actual fact the little vertices that I was talking about are now highlighted, little spots on each corner. Now, to go from object to edit mode, you can do it with a left click down here, or there is a key, um, a keyboard shortcut, and that is your tab. You can see I'm going between object and edit mode. So now we're in edit mode. I will go back to top, another keyboard shortcut, and that is by pressing the key A, it deselects everything. When something is selected, it is orange, as in there, I press the A, it's selected all, I can deselect with A. So as you can gather, when you're modeling, it's really important to use a combination of your mouse and your keyboard. A, A selects everything, press it again, A dis deselects everything. Now what I want to do is just select one vertice. So these are the little dots on the corners. You can see at the moment, we'll talk about this later, but there's a selection of either the dot or the edge or the whole face. So with a right click on my mouse, you'll see my mouse will now light up. I can select one vertice. If I want to select another vertice, if I just click on it with the right, you can see it deselects the first one. I hold down my shift key, that's the key with the arrow, and press, and now I can select any number by holding down my shift key. A deselects. Another useful shortcut is, with my right button, I select 1. If I hold down Control and press I, that inverts my selection. So, if I wanted to select all three, the quickest is to select 1 and invert my selection. Now, like so often with computer programs, it can be done another way. Select, and there's invert there and it says what the key shortcut is. So control I would go back to one, or I could do it on the keyboard, control I goes back to the other. Now I want just one vertice currently, so I press my delete key, and it offers what you want to delete. I want to delete the vertices, the little spots. I didn't delete them. Now I've just got one vertice left here. I highlight that with my right click. Now in top mode I want to start drawing, I draw the dots, a path of vertices around. So I hold down the control key, bottom left hand key, control key, and now with a left click I click on the screen. And you can see it's drawing the line between the dots. Now I want to complete this group of dots. 
So I've got this highlighted. I hold down the shift key, the key with an arrow on it, and I right click on the other and then press F, F key for fill. So I now have a group of dots drawn in the I separate my window. I can now look at this window from the front. I look at this window from the top. I can select just one dot, one vertice in that window, and you can see exactly the same vertice is selected in both windows. Now I want to start drawing up into three dimensional space, so I hold down my control key and use the left mouse and I get a dot moving up in the z-axis vertically. I can now, moving over here, if I draw more dots they will remain in that plane of this one so they will be in the xy-axis at the height of that z-dot make more sense when I do it. And so once again I want to join from here to there. So that one is already highlighted. I hold down my shift key and it's a right click now a right click to select the two and an F will fill across. So I'm now starting to get a number of vertices linked with lines in three-dimensional space. Right. Now I want to start filling those. So I right-click on one dot, so it'll be easier to work in one screen now. So I close that, and here we are. Let's see if we zoom in a bit more so that's the wheel and the mouse. I was a right click to select that. I hold down my shift button. I can then right click another and another and another. So we're now going to fill this plane with the key F. And you can fill either three dots or four dots. So there we've done four. Yeah. As I said I could I could fill those three if I wanted. The undo button is holding down control bottom left and pressing the Z button. Control Z undoes. Alright, I did want a panel of four here, so it's right mouse button holding down shift. Press F to fill. So there we have it, a very simple way of joining the dots and being able to draw objects in three-dimensional space. File, save. And we have the project saved.